519 on this Thursday morning. It has been such a week <laughs> when it comes it to the heat, Damon. Triple digits every day. And yesterday we hit 107. Uh, that happened earlier this summer on July 17th. It's only happened five times before. That's the hottest temperature ever recorded in Salt Lake City. Luckily, though, the worst is over. Uh, starting today, temperatures, at least in the north, will start to drop a little bit. Uh, we're off to a warm start, though, in Salt Lake, where it's 78. Mid-60s in Logan. It's near 70 in Green River, 82 currently in St. George. Now, we've got uh, a little bit of moisture in place for some clouds across the north, some uh, High base showers, uh, maybe a few sprinkles in the West Deserts, but uh, really best chance of any precipitation today would be along and over the higher terrain. Otherwise, big story is the fact that the high pressure that's kept it so hot is getting flattened out and is weakening, and as a result, temperatures are already starting to drop. That's happening as a trough of low pressure drops down from Canada that will send a cold front across Utah later today. In fact, it looks like it will move along the Wasatch Front this evening, and behind it, temperatures will be dropping, but unfortunately, the price we have to pay will be a decrease in air quality as we get some patchy smoke from uh, wildfires in the Pacific Northwest moving in. We could also get some gusty winds later tonight and tomorrow over northeast Utah and southwest Wyoming and some of the typical trouble spots like uh, downslope areas in the canyons. Now in Salt Lake City, we're forecasting 98. That's going to put us just shy of our record of 100 but there's no guarantee we won't make it up into the triple digits. Uh, record heat is possible, even though it's not as likely. Otherwise, becoming sunny in the north, partly cloudy in the south, slight chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms over the mountains from southwest Utah in the Uintas. But this weekend, a much better chance of wet weather in the south. In fact, it'll become likely on Saturday, and the temperature will drop all the way down into the mid-80s, so about 20 degrees cooler than what we're expecting this afternoon in St. George. And in northern Utah, it'll be about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow. We'll be in the upper 80s with that patchy smoke that could linger into the first part of the weekend. Near 90 into early next week, all the way down into low to mid-80s on Tuesday and Wednesday, with a better chance of some showers by then.